Now let's divide a three digit number by a single digit number using expanded division. So we can write out 588 divided by 2 like this with our divisor on the left. Now we take the first digit and we have 5 divided by 2. So we need a number in the 2 times table that's as close to 5 as possible but still less than 5. So the closest number that's in the 2 times table is 4, so we write 4 underneath the 5. And because 4 is 2 times 2, we write 2 in our answer line. Now we subtract and bring down. 5 minus 4 is 1, and we can bring down the 8. So we have 18 divided by 2. Now 18 is in the 2 times table. So we can write 18 under the 18. And because 18 is 9 times 2, we can write 9 in our answer line. Now we subtract and bring down. But 18 minus 18 is just 0. So all we need to do is bring down the last digit, bring down the 8, and we have 8 divided by 2. Because it's our last digit, we can just write the answer. 8 divided by 2 is 4, because 4 times 2 is 8. But if we want to show that we don't have a remainder, we can subtract 8 and get 0. So, 588 divided by 2 is 294. Now, 498 divided by 6. So we can write the question out in the same way. Now, if we take our first digit, we have 4 divided by 6. But 4 is less than 6. So when the first digit is less than the divisor, what we can do to save time is take the first two digits together and divide 49 by 6. So we need to think what number in the 6 times table is closest to 49 but still less than 49. Well, 48 is in the 6 times table, and because that's 8 times 6, we can write 8 in our answer line. So now, we just subtract and bring down. 49 minus 48 is 1, and we can bring down the 8, bring down the last digit, so we have 18 divided by 6. Now that's exactly 3, because 3 times 6 is 18. And because this 8 was our last digit, I like to just write the 3 in the answer straight away. But if you want to show that there's no remainder, you can subtract 18 and get 0. So, 498 divided by 6 is 83. Now, 651 divided by 7. If we take the first digit, again, 6 is less than 7. So, it makes sense to take the first two digits together and divide 65 by 7. So, we want a number in the 7 times table which is closest to 55, sorry, to 65, but still less than 65. Now, 63 is in the 7 times table, and because that's 9 times 7, we can write 9 in our answer line. So now we subtract and bring down. 65 minus 63 is 2, and we can bring down our last digit, bring down the 1, so we have 21 divided by 7. Now 21 is in the 7 times table. 3 times 7 is 21, and because that was our last digit, we can just write the 3 in our answer straight away, because 3 times 7 is exactly 21. But if we want to show that there's no remainder, 
we can subtract the 21 from 3 times 7 and get 0. So 651 divided by 7 is 93.